Good morning, everybody. Today is Sunday, November 10th, 2019, week number 49 of our keto journey. This is our first Sunday morning update because uh, yesterday, Stacy was still in Albuquerque and arriving home. I think you got home a little after 8.30. Yeah, about 8.30 last night. So yeah. so uh, we didn't get one in yesterday, but we were getting it in this morning. We're a day late and a dollar short, as usual. <laughs> But uh, yeah, this is our update for the week, and it's week 49, and last week, I weighed in at 333.2, and I'm still in some adjustments. I'm following my macros, and I even got a day of fasting in, figured I'd be at least even, and my body is just acting weird. So today, I was 336.8. That is 3.6 pounds up. I don't know. I'm not stressing because I'm doing everything the way I'm supposed to do it. Exactly. I've even gotten to the point where my carbs are at total 20 or less, not at net. You know, I'm not like playing the game of, oh, it was 32, but it was only 19 <laughs> because of the fiber. No, 20 carbs total or less a day. So I'm still fighting with the sugars. When I went off metformin, if you hadn't seen these previous videos, uh, I noticed an increase in my sugars. Which also, when I would check my ketones uh, with the Keto Mojo meter, um, I was ranging it low. I wasn't even getting yeah. a number. So I think I'm not, my body's just kind of still trying to figure out what's going on. It is. Yeah. And I haven't even gone over on calories even. I mean, the way I have my macros adjusted, I have it at 30% deficit. Um, you know, so I'm not stressing too much. I'll just keep going. It's all part of the journey. It, it, yeah. So yeah, I'm up this week. <laughs> Not cool. But uh, where are you at, Stace? So last week I weighed in at 133, and this morning I weighed in at 132.4, so about half a pound. Okay. Sticking there. Yep, sticking at that weight. <laughs> now last week, you'll you'll remember or we'll be able to show you in the video up above, um, Stace did a meatball recipe. Fantastic <sighs> meatballs. Oh he my gosh. He ate them while I was gone. Try them. Yes, they were gone. Well, you can't leave for three or four days and leave meatballs that you just made and not expect them to be eaten. They were really yummy. Yeah, they were real good. Really good. So if you get a chance, try that recipe or alter it a little bit and make it your own. Some people were even recommending putting in a little bit of heat into the uh, meatballs. I never thought about doing that, like some cayenne or something. Um, oh. Yeah, that might be cool. I can make some more. Sure, sure. You can make more. I'll eat more. No. And they uh, were really good. We used the Rayos. Yeah, the sauce. The Arborada or something like yeah. that. It's a little spicier than like a tomato-y paste. That was it's, good. it's definitely got a little bit of a kick to it. It's I good. liked it. Good stuff. <laughs> yeah. So, so you got your weight in. I got my weight in. Yes. And uh, this week, which we've already filmed it and I'm working on the editing part of it, is a recipe for chili. So now I will tell you that this recipe is modified a little bit because I'm a little bit of a wimp. So it's kind of lower on the heat scale versus what some people are used to or right. like. But Stacy is going to put in, in the description and in the uh, little PDF, which will have the directions, that this is made for Bill and he's a wimp. So if you want a little <laughs> more kick, add this much more because she would make it differently if she had the opportunity, but I always ask for it to be kind of mild because I'm a yeah. baby. I don't eat it, so however he wants it, that's how I'm going to make I think it. it. What was it, just doubled? Like like you made it for me, the bill version, which yes. is mild, but if you want it like regular people, you just double this ingredient or yes. something, cayenne and other stuff. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> watch for that. I think we'll probably have that out by like Tuesday. I'm, I'm thinking I'll get that edited up tonight or tomorrow, which will be Monday, and it'll be out for either Monday night or Tuesday. Yep. So... But yeah, and then uh, next in the pipeline, I don't know. Are you going to surprise us? With yeah, I'm not sure. There's a, there's a few that I want to try. Okay, fair enough. So uh, yeah, sorry we're a little late here. Usually we're really good about getting in here on Saturdays, but with her being out of town, it's kind of a messed up weird day. Yeah, and it wouldn't do me any good to weigh myself there because their scale is going to be very yeah, different than mine. Different and, anyway. um, so come home and you weigh in this morning instead, and yeah. we'll go from there. I'm still playing with my macros, still playing with trying to figure out what's going on. I'm using one that somebody recommended for me. It was actually Keto Deb, Keto for Deb, 
And gosh, it's got thousands of you know five star reviews on the, on the Apple Store, and uh, I forget the exact name of it. It's it's just got great reviews, and when I put all the macro stuff in, it gave me a nice breakdown of where I should be, and allows you to choose your own deficit. The first week, I chose a forty percent deficit, which I felt was a little too much for me, and yeah. I was hungry, and I know you shouldn't be hungry. Right. But then there was people telling me you need to cut your calories more, and I'm like, really? Because <laughs> I'm like cutting this at 40% deficit and it still wasn't making a difference. So I brought it back to 30 thinking, give myself a little more food, you know? Yeah, he was hungry. He kept saying, oh, I'm I, hungry and we don't that's hear not that from normal. him very often. Yeah, that's not a normal thing for me. So I'm still playing with it. I might even uh, try a different macro adjustment. I wanted to give it a few weeks though and see yeah. if it made a difference. I don't know if going off metformin and having the sugars doing what they're doing is affecting it as well. But I don't see any reason why I'm up three point six this week because heck i even got a day of fasting in yeah it's only 24 hours but i still got a day of fasting day of in. fasting <laughs> so i'm like okay what's going on and uh i trimmed out all the um anything that had something that was questionable to me if it had right. sucralose or aspartame or anything like that that might cause me some issues i just stripped things down to really basic foods you know just me and this body are having a little disagreement at the moment <laughs> You'll get it figured out. Yeah, the bus stops right outside. The struggle bus stops by every day. <laughs> struggle, struggle. I don't even get on the scale during the week because I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know what the weight's going to be. I just wait to the end of the week and it's a surprise. <laughs> so I wait for a whoosh day instead of like a surprise. <laughs> it will be a surprise. It is. It's, it's always a whoosh a, surprise. It's always a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> but like we said, we're going to share it with you along this journey, good, bad, or otherwise. And uh, I feel confident that at least I'm sticking to the plan that I'm supposed to be sticking to. Yeah. Maybe it's the wrong plan. I don't know. I Might keep be. working with it. I keep trying. You know? Keep trying. Change. Don't give up. Don't give up. If you Never have kids, give up. If you have kids, you might know what that's from. <laughs> yeah. If you do, leave it in the comments below. We'll, <laughs> we'll explain it to all those non-children people. Keep I got trying. to watch a lot of cartoons yeah. over the last couple of days. Yeah, she was out with her brother. But I did get to watch Tangled in Little Mermaid. And Toy Story 4. And Toy Story 4. Yeah, I haven't even seen Toy Story 4. In Beauty and the Beast, I was in heaven. Nice. I'm it glad you had fun in Albuquerque. It was fun. We were supposed to go on a cruise and we ended up canceling that. So we had some other financial things that came up. But... Since you already had the airfare, might as well use the credit and go see your brother in Albuquerque. It was nice. That's what she did. So it was a nice little getaway for you. Yeah. And you deserve it. You work hard, and that's that's your vacation time. Put your arm back. It's freezing down the (laughs) stairs, by the way. My fingers are numb right now. And Stacy's got a jacket on, and she's shaking under the table. Yes. So, (laughs) All right. Well, thanks for checking in with us. Watch for that uh, chili recipe coming up. And Stacy has been in the kitchen doing some other recipes, so we got some more fun stuff coming too. Absolutely. Um, you'll see that. And there's a couple of reviews. We actually just got a few things in the mail, and uh, there's something at the post office box too, so I got to go on Monday and pick that up. Oh, yeah? Uh, yeah. So we've got some things coming in. I'm not even sure what's at the post office. We'll have to just go see and, uh, you know, do a couple of little reviews here and there too. So we'll catch you all next week or sooner. <laughs> or sooner <laughs> yeah or sooner you'll definitely see our chili recipe this week too yep all right guys see Thank ya you. bye bye